Okay, we're going to be making Sun Garden Burgers here. These are very easy burgers and very delicious and a great way to use some of your leftover carrot pulp from your juicing. So we have one cup of carrot pulp that we're going to be putting in our bowl. And you can save your, your pulp. It can go in your refrigerator or in your freezer and you can save it for a later use. We've got a half a cup of celery and we're going to put that into our bowl. And we've got uh, minced up onion, six tablespoons of finely minced onion here that we're going to add as well. Then we've got some chopped parsley and you can add according to what your likes are. And I'm going to be putting in approximately two tablespoons of chopped parsley. And we have about two tablespoons of chopped bell pepper. You can use red or yellow, whatever you like. And we've got approximately two teaspoons here of tamari that we're going to pour in. And now we've got three tablespoons of flaxseed. We're going to grind the flaxseed and we're just going to use a little coffee grinder here to grind the flaxseed. Okay, so we're going to grind these in the coffee grinder. Okay, and we're just going to add this to our dish here. We've got about six tablespoons of water, and we're going to stir this in. This is like a binder. This is going to work like a binder instead of using egg in your recipe. So we're going to mix that around in here a little bit. And if you want, you can let that sit for a little bit, or you can just go ahead and and mix that into your recipe. We're just going to mix it around a little. Okay, we're going to add that to our recipe. Mix this all together. These are very fragrant smelling burgers. Okay. And now we have one cup of sesame seeds, or sunflower seeds rather, and we're going to grind these up in the food processor here. Okay, and we're going to stir these into our burgers. And that's all there is to these burgers. Very easy to do. We're going to pop them in the dehydrator here in a minute. Okay, for forming your burgers, the, the way I find easiest to do is to use just a jar ring. And that makes all your burgers the same size. And you can use the smaller jar ring or the larger one, depending on what size of patties you want to make. So we're just going to form these burgers now. Okay, and there we have our burgers and they're ready to go into the dehydrator. Now I've just placed this on the dehydrator tray on parchment paper 
And the reason I'm using parchment paper is because if you put this on the screen, you can see the screen underneath of here, it will actually end up going into the screen and it, and it makes it very difficult to clean. This is easy. You put it in the dehydrator with the parchment paper and partway through dehydrating you just turn that over and take that parchment paper off and you can throw it away and your screen is clean. It helps speed up the cleaning process. So these are going to go in the dehydrator for about six hours and then we'll check them at that time, see if they're done and uh, we'll come back and show you what they look like. Okay, we're back with our finished Sun Garden Burgers out of the dehydrator. And that's what they look like when they come out. And these are delicious if you want to make a little bit of a tartar sauce. You can do it with either cashews or tofu. Chop up a little bit of onion. I do homemade dill pickle that's done with lemon juice instead of vinegar. And it goes delicious on these burgers. You can enjoy them for your lunch. So there you have Sun Garden Burgers.